Enchanted ice cream. Lickety Split and Tootsie were gathering wild strawberries from the slopes of Candy Mountain. I'm so hot, sighed Lickety Split. Let's have a rest and eat an ice cream. Tootsie nodded. Strawberry ice cream, she said. Oh, how did these lollipops get here? asked two little elves as they ran up to the ponies. My mixed-up words made them grow, said Tootsie. And look, Lickety Split has made ice cream. Are you magic? Could you help us? asked one of the elves. We'll try, promised Tootsie. What do you want us to do? I'll call the others and we'll tell you about it. The second elf made a strange whistling noise. At once, elves and birds gathered around the two ponies. Speckledy will tell you our problem, they said. The flame wizard is keeping our flower princess prisoner in his cave, sighed Speckledy. He won't let her go until she promises to marry him. We've tried to rescue her, but... Speckledy spread one wing and cried. He drives us away with his flames. His cave is there, pointed an elf. Tootsie called to the sunbeams to bring her lucky clover. We're ready now, said Lickety Split. When at last they reached the crooked tree, Tootsie gave Speckledy her lucky clover. Lickety Split told the elves to call out to the flame wizard. Nobody'll take my princess from me. The flames will drive you back, you see. The flame wizard ran out. Lickety Split kicked her heels twice. A mountain of ice cream covered the wizard. Hollypops lolled him down, shouted Tootsie. Speckledy led the birds and elves into the cave while Lickety Split made more ice cream appear. It will take days for the flame wizard to eat his way out, she said as the elves carried their princess out of the cave. Ooh.